The French Foreign Secretary allegedly proclaimed that the British had once again been subjected to great humiliation as so often in the past. Has he read any history? Has he heard of Cressy, Poitiers, Agincourt, Blenheim, Trafalgar, Waterloo and uh, 1940 when the French set up the Vichy government? Nevertheless, it is undeniable that the French have won comprehensively over fishing and Boris has sold out our fishermen. One described it to me thus, in the southwest. The repatriation of the cod quota over five and a half years means a vessel here can land about 10 extra fish each month. Our lord might have been able to make a pair of fish feed 5. 000, 000, 000 but I doubt if our fishermen will get far with 10. Worse, although Boris Johnson trumpets our ability to change quotas at the end of that period, the deal makes it quite clear that such is the interrelation between fish and other matters, egg trade, aviation, transport etc. It is unlikely that it could be done without huge disadvantage to us. There are 186 MPs with coastal constituencies so it will be interesting to watch what they do this week when the vote comes up. At the very least they should be seeking measures to help. However, we are out of the EU, out of the single market, out of the customs union, have limited the role of the ECJ and also built in the possibilities of future reviews and renegotiations. It may not be the clean break I would have preferred but it is Brexit nonetheless and it has been achieved despite all the opposition the Ramonas could throw at it. The reaction of the party leader sums up their characters. Nigel Farage was generous despite certain aspects of the deal and said the war is over. Ed Davey for the Lib Dems said we could have got another extension. Labour's Keir Starmer played it safe to avoid a no deal and Boris Johnson was bombastic. 